Well, welcome back to Josiah Plays Daggerdale. I'm about to light the fourth fire pit so that Aretta Slate Helm can work on his anvil. And I have a feeling some shit's gonna go down. Ah! Goblins are on the approach! Keep them away while I work! I need to concentrate. Okay. Oh, boy. Look at this. I hope you're not making me a sword, fucker. Because you know I'm a cleric, right? A dwarf cleric. Alright, here they come, huh? Or maybe they're just gonna stand around over there. Alright. Well, if you guys are just gonna stand there, I'm gonna... <laughs> nah, that's alright. Let's take them out. Eliminate the waves of goblins, zero of three. So this must be the first wave. This goblin underboss is kind of wrecking my face. Uh, okay, one wave eliminated. Here comes the next wave. These guys are no joke. They're hurting me. Get me with the slowdown and everything. Alright, yeah, it was that underboss that was uh, giving me so much trouble. Here's another underboss. Nope, no, get off me. Alright, this isn't going too badly. All kinds of loot laying around. It's almost all potions, but okay! Looks like he uh, finished what he's working on there. Lots of potions laying there. Right then. Good job with those goblins. I'm actually still fighting one, but I guess we've frozen time to have this chat. Let's head back to the Grandstone. I don't want to be around here when more of them show up. When we're safely back, I'll hand over your item. There's no way you're leaving me down here alone. Yeah, that's true. I'm not going to leave you down here. Escort Retta back to the town square. Well, let's just finish off this goblin underboss first. Okay. Tons of potions to pick up. Tons and tons. Running around spamming the F key pick stuff up. I think I got everything. Took some real damage there. Whoa, wait, wait a minute. Where'd you come from, sir? Ah. Messed him up. Good. Okay. Do a quick inventory check, see if we got anything. New and exciting. Worn necklace, not wearing it. More like unworn necklace, am I right? Alright. I thought for sure I saw a morning star drop. I did see a morning star drop, and now I don't know, it doesn't seem to be over here. I have a sneaking suspicion about something, and what that is is that items dropped on the ground decay fairly quickly if I don't pick them up right away. Which is going to be annoying in big fights like that where I kind of don't want to stop fighting all the guys to loot everything, but if I don't loot everything right away, it it's going to go away. Because there was most definitely a Morning Star dropped, and it ain't there anymore, and it's not in my inventory, so... Eh, alright. It's okay. I don't know why I keep it obsessively healing when I'm not hurt, but uh, <laughs> and I do a little habit. I'm gonna save because losing progress is bullshit. Got some new guys just spawned over there. I got Retta with me. Alright. Let's take these fuckers out. 
Another underboss. That worked out. Any loot besides that potion? Heck, sir. Even like down to the to that like skull he's got on his head though, he looks just like the the goblin depicted in the fourth edition D and D monster manual. I mean that that's kind of cool. Like they even went for the the same the same kind of like bone armor with that that very distinctive looking skull on his head as a helmet. That's kind of cool. I mean very familiar. It really makes you feel like you're you're playing a game in the IP that that's on the box. <laughs> All right, we're back here. Uh, we'll stop off at old Dwarven Merchant. Doesn't have a name. He's just Dwarven Merchant. Sell this helmet off for 111 gold. Sell this necklace. Sell this elixir and a bunch of these potions. Okay. Do you have anything new that I want to look into purchasing? No, he doesn't. Okay. Alright, Retta. Let's get back to Town Square. I'm anxious to collect my exciting reward from you. I hope it's not a sword. Although I guess if it's a nice sword, at least it'll sell well, huh? Come on, you're dragging ass, Retta. Must gather my party before venturing forth. Kind of a cool little glowy effect on my helm there. I don't know, it looks a little bit silly, but uh, at least it's something. At least it's magic. That must be the official spot of quest completion. All right. Well, here is your reward. Hopefully, you'll be able to put this to good use. Moradin be with you on your quest to defeat Reslus. 1,500 XP, 250 gold. And what did I get? Quest complete. Reda Slate Helm's little name tag is just hanging out there in the air still. That's uh, evidence of good game design. It's a longsword. Not even a magical longsword with any cool properties. Just a longsword. Straight up, here you go, bud. Enjoy your non-magical weapon you can't use. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks. I'm glad I, uh... Well, he did give me 250 gold also. So, I mean, I guess it was a pretty decent reward, all told. Let's go visit this merchant. 35 gold worth, huh? Hey, this was just custom crafted for me from by your finest smith. It's for sale. <laughs> uh, heavy shield of perception. Alright, what do we have here? He doesn't have any cool weapons I want, does he? No. Still saving up for that Hammergate chainmail. It'll be on and cracking then. Alright, nothing else I want to buy from that guy. Looks like we got one more quest here from Master Paxton. Your work dispatching the goblins has earned you high esteem among our people. Thanks. Our engineers can help you open the grand gates to these. Alright, hold on. What the hell's wrong with you? your gates that you need engineers to open them? But our machinery has been thrown into disrepair thanks to the goblin raids. Let me guess, more shit you need me to do. Mm. Salvage our missing equipment so we can get on with our work. And you with your foolhardy deaths. I'm not really planning to have those, but thanks. Accept quest? You bet I will. Go see our chief engineer, Master Ayer. He'll know what we need. 
All right, where is he? See what I did there? His name's Ayer, and I just, yeah, <laughs> that was not very funny. All right, Master Ayer, you must be the guy because you have an arrow over your head. What's up, Master Ayer? Uh oh, this guy looks a little bit sketchy. Hello, stranger. I'm Master Ayer, Chief Engineer, resident expert on everything in this mine. Resist the swine of sabotage my beautiful machines. Uh oh, he's got a whole love affair going on with his machine. That's not good. They're the only family I have. Okay, this guy's creeping me out. Mm -hmm. Bring Isar the gear key. You'll find it in the air shaft. Alright, retrieve the gear key is now my quest. No problem. Retrieving gear keys is what Adamus does best. Stop and heal myself for no reason there, real quick. Looks like I need to go... Oh, okay, that's that other way I haven't gone yet. Makes sense. Off we go. Gots to get me the gear key. Whatever that is. Guess it's a key shaped like a gear. A key for the gears. Hey, I wonder what the, the old Dwarven Cooper has to say over here. Mm. Who keeps breaking my barrels? <laughs> it just never stops being hilarious. There's a reason it never stops. In order to stop, it would have had to have started in the first place. Alright, let's crank this thing open. Didn't need no engineers to open those gates. Alright, oh shit, they're just getting right to it. Hello. Wow, we got we got quite a quite a assortment of, of goblins up on me right here. I got them coming from all directions. I got hexers. I'm shooting through walls at dudes who aren't even here. How's that heal coming? We got a heal? I was on fire for a second there. We got... Look at these guys. They are not messing around. These goblins do not want me getting that gear key. To heal up. All right, I need that hexer to be fucking dead. Yeah, this is definitely up to the challenge a little bit here. They're, uh, they're not kidding anymore. I might actually have to use healing potions at some point with these kind of fights. Because, look, I mean, yeah. First I was like, oh, I can heal myself whenever I want. No big deal. I got infinite healing. But, you know, that cooldown... When that thing's on cooldown and I'm taking a bunch of damage like that, I actually, uh... actually in peril some of the time. Okay, I fought off the initial giganto wave of goblins here in the beginning of this area. We'll check out this little side passage here, but, uh... That's gonna do it for this video. We'll have to take a look at that in the next one. Thanks for watching Josiah Plays Daggerdale. We'll see you next time.